this is my um, biofuels project all ready to go for processing a tank of fuel. These three cylinders here are uh, filters and the far right one is 50 microns, the one in the middle is 5 microns and the one in the, at the far left is 1 micron filtration and I have pressure gauges on the top to monitor the pressure and I have uh, a pressure regulator up here for controlling the pressure and instead of using a pump I use a small compressor which is right down there behind the ice chest and this is where I'm going to drain off uh, that valve at the bottom of the tank is where I'm going to drain off the sludge and this is the processing tank all right uh, so I, anyway, I have three stages of, of, of powering this thing in case it's cloudy that my solar panels you know, aren't working. I can use the alternator on the engine or, or if, let's say, the alternator is you know, low or I don't want to idle the engine, I can use the gasoline generator or something like that. Okay, so this valve I'm going to basically open up. Normally what I do is I drain off about 10% of the tank, which is 2 gallons. So this fuel is being refiltered from my fuel tank. So it's had most of its trapping done already, and I'm just so I'm just going to draw draw off a half a gallon. And it's been sitting in this tank for uh, two days. And can you tell by the color of, of it when you all the sludge has been? Normally, normally you can, but this has got 17% uh, uh, waste motor oil in it. And even at 17%, it's so dark, I can't see anything. What, what I have noticed is that uh, uh, sludge tends to be thicker as well. And I noticed when I first opened the valve, maybe a cup of, slu of thick sludge came out. But it was, uh, it was so small a mouth, it was hard to, you know, you'd have to be pretty close to see that. So what I'm going to do with this, is I'm gonna I'm gonna then let this sit around for a day or two, and then I'm gonna uh, the sludge will settle to the bottom, and I'll pour the thin stuff off back into the tank. Okay, so that's done with that. Now, uh, uh, oh yeah, so this is the automatic fuel valve that my fuel goes into the fuel tank and it comes out, the hose comes out of the last fuel filter right here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arrange, there we go, so that we can see the whole thing as it starts. Okay, so how I get the thing rolling is I have another valve here that, that opens up the tank to my filtration process. And in fact, I forgot to show, uh, maybe I'll show the, the viewing public, that I have two Y traps right here. This is 40 mesh and this is 80 mesh. And they're the first step. And here is the valve that opens it up from the tank into the Y traps. And by the way, I have a clear plastic vinyl hose here that runs the full length of the tank, and that's my sight glass. It tells me right. how full how the tank is. Got. See, now it's full all the way to the top, Marie, because it's got, he has that clear tube. It's full all the way to the top, so that means that's how much fuel is in that so uh -huh. tank. Full. All right. And I leave my, the really important valve, I leave the handle off. Okay. Just in case somebody decided they were going to be a vandal and go, oh, I wonder what happens if I own this, uh, open this valve. <laughs> and I'd hate to see 20 gallons of oil end up on the table. All right. So now I'm going to open. I have not started the pump. Oh, before I start the pump, 
I need to close two valves. This valve goes to the transfer pump, and this valve goes to the vent. So, so, so you're so the as it displaced, so as that draws down, air will come in through the vent up there instead of from the transfer gate. Okay. Right, okay. okay. And so, you know, I can pressurize it. That cap is, uh, is a vented cap. Right. So it doesn't allow the pressure to build up in there. Right. Since I'm using gasoline, I thought, you know, it's safer if I actually have a vented cap like right. a fuel cap. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to open the valve. My white right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the air pump going. And the air pump is run off of a deep cycle marine battery. It's okay. And I have an inverter here, and so I just switch it on. That keeps the little air pump going. Okay. And then I have a pressure gauge in which I monitor. I don't want the pressure to go up anymore. And a couple feet of <laughs> There we go. There we go. And it's coming through the filters. No, it's okay. It's okay. There we go. It's coming through the filters. It's gone through the 5 micron. It's now going through the five, or the 50 micron. It's gone through. Now it's going through the 5 micron. And it's about to enter the 1 micron filter. And for me, this is great to be able to actually see the filtration process because before I had big blue filters and I couldn't see what was going on. Alright, so I'm going to bring back... There we go. Alright. And now fuel... Alright, fuel should start coming out of the, uh, the automatic fuel valve into the fuel tank here shortly. And I'm not going to pull it out. It could be too messy. But I can hear it coming out here again. If you come by, you can hear it. <laughs> You're right, it does stink. And I like to process at low pressure because, and I like the idea of using a compressor for my pump because it reduces the turbulence. So, you know, whereas with normally with a pump like a centrifugal pump, it's churning and it's churning up the fluid, and I don't want that. I don't want to disturb the fluid because we can see the tank now is, is uh, you know, we've gone through a quarter of the tank of fuel. So do you understand, Maria, that means it's like right here? Yeah. And it has to go down. That's the deeper how much fuel there is in the tank. And then we're, only, we're processing it maybe two PSI. Okay. Now these, these uh, uh, filter cartridges, can handle a 20 pre psi pressure okay, drop yeah. across them. Right. So I can take the pressure up to 20 if I want to. So that, so when you have to do that, that says that says that the filter is plugging up. Yeah. So then, would you? That would be your indication of when the filter needs to be replaced, or when you're having to apply too much pressure. That would be normally the yeah. case. But since I back flush my filters with uh, these valves and stuff. Okay. And that just says, okay, it's time to back up. Can't see it. Oh, oh, I can see it now. Okay. It's down to here. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. So we, we now have, uh, we've done 75% of this whole thing, which is 15 gallons. Okay. And we have five more gallons to go. And one small leak is not bad on a system that completely re-plumbed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I feel pretty good about, about only one leak. Yeah. That's great. And we're only at 2 PSI, so it's not dangerous or anything. Yeah, right. And all this equipment can, is designed for 100 PSI pressure. Right. So it's, yeah, it's very dirty. You know, it's meant for the, for the house. Right. For municipal pressure. You know, we're still down there. Now, this is new, too, because uh, I didn't have as large a jump between my filters as they do now. So I'm not sure whether, you know, we may get to the... Well, it is, it's still moving. We're down to, we only have like three gallons to go. So it's working good. That's another thing. That I wasn't sure whether... I've got a, uh, a five 
uh, micron size of size difference between these two. And I used to only have, a, uh, well, actually, I had a five when I went from 20 to five microns. That was five. Mm -hmm. But between these two, there's ten. Okay. Uh, a factor of ten. So uh -huh. I was a little concerned about that. It's almost at the bottom there. Looks like oh, you can see it. Oh, right. yeah, you're right. It's down to the seam here. Yeah. So it's only about one gallon to go. And so your <laughs> what did you say? Your injectors? Is that what was getting plugged? Uh, you're right. What and happens? So. What's been happening is is my uh, injectors have been poking up. Yeah. From various reasons. In the last batch of fuel, I had uh, acetone at yeah. about one percent. I think it was. And that dissolves the filter. These filters are supposed to handle that. So you're you're basically this is the last step, and you can fire up your engine. Theoretically, okay. I can fire up the engine. That's right on this stuff. But what I'm going to do is because the tank is completely empty because I emptied it yesterday and scrubbed it out, I'm going to um, not move the van, and I've got 27 gallons of fuel over here in. Barrel and uh, fuel cans. I'm going to put them into the into the tank and let it sit overnight. Okay. And then process the last uh, 10 gallons into the tank, okay. and uh, and then I'll be ready to roll. Okay. That's uh, it. I just saw it drop all the way out. Oh, you did. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to leave it going a little longer until I actually hear air. Normally there will be gurgling, uh, and I kind of expect that I'm going to see bubbles. Okay. okay. Although it's completely black, <laughs> these, these clear. Oh, there, there we go. See? See how oh, look at this. I'm just going to let it go. What? So it's going to push the fuel apparently out of the out of the filter. I love it. That's great. If there's any residue in the bottom of that, is that going to force into the Hopefully, secondary? No, because it has to go through the membrane. So it just it should just sit there. That's what I figured what would happen. Yeah. So they get to a certain level and then uh, cool. Oh, but I love it. I had no idea this was going to happen. It's like but it's not going to come to the same level. That's interesting. It's kind of a step. Yeah, it is. You're right. So it's not going to. It doesn't come to the same level as the first one. Right. It's going to stop right. Oh, that's funny. Why? Oh, maybe because this one's going to oh, leak. Oh, right. It's got to leak. So there's. The this one's even going lower. <laughs> Or maybe it's the amount of sediment that's being uh, that's being caught. Anyway, so we should know that. It's actually going up a little bit. Now. Yeah, we have air now. So I can just turn that off. Awesome. That's it. Cool. Yeah. I'm pretty happy about it. And I can still see through it. As you can see, the filters worked yeah. white. Right. And now they're almost <laughs> black. <laughs>